we're going to look at the water type function. Now we've taken a little challenging um, piece here of a scan of a tree trunk and it's got a lot of holes in it. It's got very jagged edges at the top and the bottom. So the first thing we need to do is um, clean it up a bit. So we will basically chop off the top, chop off the bottom and then perform the watertight function on it. So here we're just selecting the triangles top and bottom and deleting them. And now we have an object that we want to watertight. As you can see, there are a lot of gaps in it. Now you just simply choose the watertight function and because this is a fairly detailed um, scan, you should choose a fairly fine uh, watertight fill. So this slider should be put more to the right on a detailed object like this. Then the watertight function does basically a, a series of hole fills, automatic hole fills, until it has completely watertighted the object. There is a downside to this because it takes the curve of the of the edge at the top and the bottom. You can see that it's got a slightly bulged fill for the top and the bottom of this trunk. So there is another way around this, and that is to actually cut that off with the cut to plane and the cut to plane with the fill option will fill that with a flat fill. The other option would have been to use the hole function beforehand and flat fill that hole. So here we're going to just use the draw a line to define a, a cut plane and it will fill it in. And we'll do that top and bottom. Because you've chosen the fill plane function, you now have those filled with a flat fill and that can be sent to a printer. Now, if you want to check that it's watertight, you right click on your scan and choose properties and it will give you the, the enclosed volume, the surface area and confirm that it is watertight so that you can be sure that it's a correct file to send to, say, a 3D printer.